after Michael the Impaler managed to defeat the Seljuk Turks, avenging the losses at the Battle of Nicaea, the invasion had begun. Welcome back everyone to our Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD Epirus campaign, and we're going to make progress against these Seljuks by sieging in Cairo, which can hopefully capitulate. It is close to capitulation. And we do have another Seljuk army to worry about, which could potentially be defeated. But the problem is they have a lot of onagers. And these guys can go quite far. I don't think Sinop really even has like a garrison defending it. These guys. Seems like an easy enough victory. We have a decent amount of heavy archers. I don't really have any good units, except for their generals. And their archers, and their ballistae, which they have a lot of. My best bet is to just siege Iconian and see what this army tries to do. I'm still raising some forces down here to take out the Seljuks' remaining settlements. They've gotten weaker at least though. And we can raise some more armies under our Bezileus. Begin our recruitment. And you get some like skirt well it takes just a long time to recruit units like four turns like oh my goodness but we have to see what these these guys do if they attack us on the open field we will have to face them we could probably take iconion pretty easily Seljuks will be forced to attack one of these armies the storm has raged long enough, and now, at your agreement, the softer rains of peace continue. Hmm. Problem is, if I do get a peace now and try to attack Nicaea, they're just gonna declare war on me again. Trebizond is not gonna help. So for now, I'll reject the offer. I retreat far enough, so we didn't need a peace, we just needed to wait them out. But we'll at least take Iconion. So their main armies are here, nine units. We're still recruiting a substantial force. For now, we'll come back to Nicaea to defend it against any possible incursions. Our garrison is replenishing, of course. Iconion should be easily taken. You see, their units are terrible. It's just that they had like the onagers and all that. A 
occupy deeper and deeper into Anatolia. So yeah, we're making some progress here, even though they still own a lot of territory and I see us still doing whatever it is they do. Unfortunately, they've like garrisoned that one settlement with like 10 armies. Making it therefore impossible just to get past. Sinop, however, is v is very has no garrison basically at all. The Seljuks are getting weaker, and if we can entice the Principality of Antioch you will find me a willing and attentive audience for your speech. into war with them. If we can get Antioch to join a war against them. There we go. Now Antioch can send their armies against Sis. United we stand. This faction has joined forces with us in a bid to rid the world of our mutual enemies. Against the Seljuk Sultanate of Rum. So now the Seljuks stand surrounded. My Antioch on one side, and our forces on the other. And if we can get... Well, no, the Bulgars are doing with Venice, and I'll let them deal with Venice to make sure Venice doesn't get any stronger than they need to. You are welcome, but that welcome can become a farewell if you waste my In the meantime, I'm going to try to offer some non-aggression to these guys to make sure they... I can, well, that's not going to work. Jerusalem... Is at war with Nicaea right now. We offer you honest welcome. They don't want trade though. Okay, now the Seljuks are surrounded, effectively. And if Trebizond can ever come in and help, which is unlikely to happen, since they don't have the funds to even raise like a, a sufficient force. Now, I'm gonna station my guy over here. There we go. Get some intel on some of these settlements. Seems that they're pretty plainly garrisoned. It's just these two armies are the main forces we have to worry about. Now, 16 units. I need to get some f units fast. Get three units. If they try to see besiege Dory Leon, they can't. So yeah, we're actually making some gains here. Venice is still at war with the Bulgars in the north. Now, if Antioch can come in, edicts, we're going to get this governor at Western Thracia. Don't know why the public order is going down there, but war weariness? No. Dismantle this, dismantle this, dismantle that. Repair that. And we'll take care of public order once we finish this thing. And there's a disease in one of their settlements too. We'll see if they want peace. If Nicaea declares war on us, we'll take a peace with them, but if not... Have you not noticed that a marriage properly contracted and considered... What? A marriage? They're asking for a non-aggression pact. Probably just a glitch or something. Okay, the Nicaeans... Still busy with their own problems. Alright, I knew it. The Seljuks are going to try to besiege my settlement. Meet me in the open battle. Oh, they're going to lose that easily. Decisive victory. We will... Take on warriors. 
Yeah, this is just like a lost booster army, so I didn't even have to fight it out. <laughs> Alright, so that makes everything a lot easier then. We'll advance into their territory. Finally. Decisive victory, Battle of Iconion. Now, I can their armies are weak. Oh, and Antioch must be besieging them here. Oh, but they're garrison now. Well, we can siege it out. I want to take as many of these settlements as possible before the war ends. They won't be able to defeat us here. We can siege it out easily. Antioch is sieging. Who else is attacking them? Probably yeah, Antioch, probably. This is under siege. How can I serve? Now. Okay, I've run out of manpower, so I'm not going to be able to do anything there. So I'll be able to take Kaiseri, and then perhaps Sinop and Ankyra. Maybe even the settlement, or I might just let Antioch, yeah Antioch's gonna take that. So, and then we'll turn back on Nicaea and move against them. And then Anatolia will be effectively on friendly hands. Mm. We're gonna have to build that for the sake of public order and all that. My taxes are a little too high, aren't they? No wonder. No wonder the public order was bad. Or worse than it should have been. But I'll take a settlement. The Seljuks are pretty much doomed to their fate. In a couple of turns, I should have much more units, and then we can march on Nicaea itself. If they don't declare war on us. My Lord. No. Okay, of course they're gonna... Oh! They're gonna retake it, because I don't have a garrison. So I have to siege the... Uh, but at least I can take two settlements. I don't have a garrison, that's stupid. That is dumb. Be at war with the Holy Room Nymph. I'm not doing that. Not now, at least. Probably not ever. Okay, these guys only have two units, and they managed to take my summon. That's somewhat frustrating. Um. Well, but at least I can take... In Kyra. Shuffle. Occupy it. No 
Take sin up. They're being besieged there. Well, I did lose a unit though, but it's fine. We still have 19 units left. We, we can take them easily. And Michael the Impaler has conquered the Seljuks. One more turn. My armies should be finished. Sis is about to fall. So is Mal Malatia. Then we'll turn on... Okay, these guys though have... We're probably more powerful and more... And they're going to be more troublesome to deal with. From their stronghold at down here. And down here in Rhodes. So unless somehow Jerusalem can somehow... Like, destroy them or something, then it's going to be tough. Now, what happened to the Mongols? They've been like, completely... Like, chipped out. Trebizond is weak. We could probably attack them. Tre the Cumans. We're not going to worry about them. Okay, we're going to need to fix up these buildings. Though. Big time. Terrible buildings. They had another army somewhere, right? They're weak now. They're... Just to make sure, I'm gonna... Send my... Priest wandering around, make sure they don't have any... Anyone hiding in there. We can take Sinop using both of our armies next turn. I'll take I now retake Iconion. So actually, I'll get this to increase the public order. Maybe decrease the taxes a little bit. I'll be forced to retreat. Okay, these guys are raiding. I was worried that I got attacked there for a second. I got really quiet. Darn Nicians. Damn Nicians. Always causing trouble. But at least I'll take this little settlement. Problem is, if I don't have a garrison, then it's not gonna. And if Iconion weak, these guys are weak. I'm going to use this army and attack this little group here. Force them to flee far enough. Wait a turn. I'll attack these guys here. Kill the captives. Now march my way back down here to make sure these guys aren't doing any funny business. These Nicians are really are. They're really are something, aren't they? Nicians. 
as in Byzantine Nicaeans. So I'll take Iconion with ease. We do need to build crap in this settlement, but it's fine. This man's all this crap that has squalor literally everywhere. Kyra is, oh my goodness. This is taking so much out of my treasury. Just me answer this. Gee whiz. Commander. And we'll take Synop. No, I'm gonna march this army in garrison and Kyra make sure no one tries to do something. In the meantime, I'm gonna recruit some units. Yeah, these guys are really annoying. I'm about to achieve victory against the Seljuk Turks here. If they see it declares war, then all of that could be for naught. As they are my kind of last rival. Well, Trevizon is maybe finally coming down to help. Antioch. It's expanded thanks to me. They don't like Nicaea. Be welcome. I... They don't want an aggression. The settlement is garrisoned though, so if they try to siege it, I'll just use this army and try to force them out. Then deal with the public order later. But the Seljuks are finally about to fall. Yeah, they're gonna head back. There we go. That's what I was expecting. That's what I wanted and expected from those treacherous Nicaeans. Well then, that's it. I believe that was their actual that, that was their leader actually, so we've we've killed the Shah of the Seljuk Turks. Ready for orders. Besieging the settlement. And we'll take their last settlements here. Iconian. And that is the end of the Seljuks. The Seljuks have caused the Eastern Roman Empire so many problems for such a long time. Ever since they came migrating from here, ever since Manzikert, ever since the Crusades, they've been finally brought to heel. Finally brought to heel. Now, there are probably going to be a couple of rebellions here and there, but nothing we can't handle. I can't get any Varangians, so that, that, that's what I'm upset about. But, it's fine. This is where the lowest public order is, so I'm going to try to help increase it a little. Dear goodness. There's a lot to build next turn. And I'm gonna garrison Atalea.
I'm gonna recruit, recruit a scout. Some scouts. Andre's the mad, but. We'll deal with Nicaea eventually. It's frustrating that these guys have been kind of just left over here. Survived. But now, let's see here. Enemy killed in battle. Faction destroyed Seljuk Sultan of Rum. Now, we have encountered the Abbasid Caliphate. They don't like us, and they're actually right along our border. In this region here. But they're at war with, like, Georgia. So Georgia should be able to keep them in check. And the Kingdom of Antioch, the Principality of Antioch, provides basically a buffer. So that's fine. End the turn. Alright, so, public order is still pretty terrible, we do need to build, or we're still building in certain places. Guy's a little disloyal, I can tell. Who's our heir? Our heir is that guy. But really, who is our heir? He's also part of the Bulgarians, so maybe we inherit the Bulg. Do we inherit the Bulgarian throne? Perhaps. Why do they have the name The Old? Ionis The Old. Taz The Old. Kalman The Old. The Old. The Old. In a sense, it's the fourth The Old. Frederico The Old. Marco The Old. Arnold The Old. Let me do that again. Huh. 
Uh, okay. Guessing that's just a glitch. I'm guessing. Now, when I see it, it does has only left very little guarding, but their garrisons are absolutely huge. Because they're still at war with Jerusalem, and it seems as if they just lost or won a battle. Cumans, do you want trade? The gods will have me listen to you, but do not. Your wares will find a home somewhere, but not. They don't want trade. Payments. Get trade with the Cumans. These guys are fairly weak. I don't think a quick conquest of them would hurt. of Volga Bulgaria no I'm not gonna get go that far with these guys but we're gonna just get some agreements so as to ensure goodwill Kingdom of Georgia we have agreement with Jerusalem Offer. And they still want to trade. List of Ajachi. They do not like us, but they are weak. They are not like some powerful Mongol that they once were anymore, and they're about to fall anyway. I should, get, I should get some more cavalry. Yeah, some more cavalry would be nice. I pretty much recruited every unit I can here. That's going to be very far-fetched, far away, but we'll see. Welcome, worthy friend. Get non-aggression with the Papal States for now. This will be the end of this episode for today, and we'll see you all in a while because of events, but we'll see you when we get back.